Hey guys, what's going on? Will or Light Duke 72 here, bringing you guys my let's play of the Stanley Parable. So, uh, I've only seen one video on this uh, game, and I like this game. Didn't want to ruin it for me. Wanted to play it for myself. So, got my new computer, bought the game, and now I'm gonna play it for you guys. So, uh, let's get into it. Let's begin this. The end is never the end. Is never the end. It's okay. Loading. And loading. There we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He oh, was sat at it? his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been okay. made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Oh, was he? Was he happy? And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh god, alright. Okay, I'm playing now. So I've never actually played this game. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh. Is that, is that what I did? I missed a memo? Where's the meeting room? Where's the meeting room? Let's just follow this. Let's do that. Uh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Did he? Or did he enter the one on his right? You know what? No. 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 We'll listen to you. We'll listen to you up there. We'll listen to you. Just for one, one second, we'll listen to you. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, to the boss's office. Let's go there. Whoa. How'd that door close? Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'm not listening to you. I'm not gonna listen to you this time. Oh god, maybe I should have listened to him. This is all dark and creepy. Shouldn't have came down here. Oh god. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? How is there? All because he believed out. everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. <laughs> All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of oh, existence in am a I single crazy? moment for no Guy. reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet uh, when he looked down? We're just why in here. The doors close automatically behind him where Yeah, I was wondering that before. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Yes, they are. Repeating. 
No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. <laughs> At last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. What the he fuck? He hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, I don't think I'm dreaming. <laughs> finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to what my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. <laughs> so, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh my god. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still what not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head? Yes! everything that I'm doing and thinking. <laughs> now the voice was describing Why itself is that? considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. What the fuck? Thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. This game. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility Why for himself? Why are you doing this to me? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. He doesn't now, look it. The voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all... He knew for take certain me to the same that, rooms. that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would oh my prove God. He would prove that he was in control. That this Get me was out of dream. here. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the I mattress should have listened to him. <laughs> the fresh air of a world outside this I should have went to the boss's office. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. Okay. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. I know this. Stanley began screaming. Please, oh someone God. wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must what be real. What the fuck? my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Oh, God. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, <laughs> and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that <laughs> moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was this to guy be crazy. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. Oh, it God. was comforting to think this. And in a certain way... Why is she just looking at this guy's body? But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension the rest of her life she had no time for this so it was only a moment that she stood there staring down at the body and then she turned and ran oh god okay 
She just ran away. The end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. Okay. Oh! And we're back here! Okay, so... I'm assuming that's an ending. That was really quick. Um... Alright, well, I'm gonna play through this some more. But, uh... I'll have another video. I'm gonna do this in a few parts. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe for more. And, uh... I'll see you guys... And part two. Peace.